All right, next question from Jackie Waddles with CNN. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, I was hoping to hear more from you guys about how you went about investigating the issue with the Crew Dragon Endeavors Waste Management System. Uh, and then, Tomal, you mentioned that this was a very intense mission, so I was also hoping to hear from each of you uh, what was most intense about it and some experiences that really stick out to you. All right, I'll start it off with the waste management system. Um, we had a couple different events in there to go inspect our vehicle, and uh, we got to get under the, the panels in the, in the floor, so to speak, a few times with some uh, different kind of video cameras to give uh, the SpaceX and NASA teams some data to see if it was anything like the inspiration for a vehicle um, or not. Uh, and then uh, they came up with the plan after seeing um, some video that uh, we had a good chance to get under a lot of the panels in there and really show them the situation. And uh, they came up with a great plan. They've done a bunch of testing in the last uh, months, you know, four to six weeks or so to clear the vehicle. So we're very happy about that. Um, and so I think that's about all I can answer on that. And I'll start it off, I guess, with the, the second part of your question. Uh, we had some intense times, and I would say they kind of went in waves. And uh, for for Tama and I, for sure, I think the spacewalking time in June was uh, pretty. You know, we had three spacewalks within a couple of weeks, and uh, and the rest of the crew was very involved with that, either flying the robotic arm or getting us suited up and getting us ready to go. So the whole crew, those those couple of weeks were definitely intense for me, um, and they stand out as kind of kind of the highlights for part of the mission. Aki, please key the mic. We had, uh, j this is common to old space flights, but we had some uh, unexpected events, uh, you know, every, I don't know, every other month or every month, I guess. Uh, but uh, every time, you know, uh, thanks to our training on the ground, uh, we were able to uh, get together and uh, figure out what's going on, talk to the ground, and then just solve it. Uh, it was a big, uh, great teamwork uh, with not just the seven of us on board, but with the flight controllers on the ground. Uh, they helped us a lot. They told us what's going on. They told us what steps to do in the procedure, and we uh, tackled it together and we managed it. So I guess those were intense moments here and there, but uh, you know, in hindsight, uh, I think we worked very well together. And for me, the intense moments are kind of surrounding the um, times of cargo vehicle arrivals and departures. So a lot of the science that we accomplish up here is associated with those missions. So the supplies for the different experiments will arrive, and then the samples will go home when the when the vehicle departs. And so there's a, a time when those samples have to be taken off the vehicle and preserved in cold storage. And then when the science activities take place, I remember one vehicle arrived, and there was a day when like four different people were working in four different science glove box all in the same day. So that to me is just a real hallmark of the tremendous amount of research that is being accomplished up here and it feels really good to be a part of that. I know. Yeah, I think my, my crewmates have, have pretty much summarized the, the entire mission. The one one thing that, that did stand out, I think, also, um, you know, once you've you've talked about the more than 200 science experiments that we've done in all the logistics and all the maintenance, um, we had a, a visiting crew that was a little bit unusual. We had a Russian film crew coming up uh, for, for a few days. It was not part of our objectives, obviously, to, to film a, a movie in space, and we were not involved in this, but it was their objectives, um, and we didn't really know uh, how to position ourselves initially. We got a really, really good briefing. We got to talk to them, and then everything ended up uh, working out really, really smoothly. I think it's the first that a movie is shot on the on the ISS. We can't wait to see the the result. And those guys did a really good job. And uh, I think it's going to be. I'll remember that also when I when I think of the mission.